Hello again, Video 3 here and we're going to finally set up our player. So we're going to make the turret that's going to fire all our bullets, kill all the ships and just win the game in general. My graphics are dead simple so I'm just going to rattle it out as quick as I can. I'm going to uh, quickly draw a circle, get rid of the fill <coughs> and um, let's see in the properties here, I think I'll have the, the stroke 3 pixels and I'm going to make sure that the height and the width are the same, 30 by 30. So that's going to be the base for my gun, I think. Yeah. And I'm going to convert that to a symbol. Convert it to a symbol, I'm going to call it turret. It's going to be a movie clip for now. It could be a sprite, possibly. Make sure the registration's in the middle so that it rotates around its center. Export it for action script and Press OK. Just quickly before we edit the script, we're going to add the actual gun to it. So I've just double clicked on it. I'm now editing the turret itself. You can go to the library, double click on the icon, and you'll be editing it. Oops. So I need to add an actual gun to the top of it. I'm going to do this on another layer just in case I want to come back and make it animate at some point. So the gun, the actual I don't know, the barrel will go on the top and this is just going to be a square with a rectangle poking out from it so I'll start with the little square, delete the fill, select those lines I've drawn and go to the properties, let's see, I want it to be say 16 by 16 and to make it centered we put minus half of its size, minus half of its size again and it's in the center and then from there, I'm going to have a little rectangular barrel coming out. So, same process again. Draw it out and delete in the fill. And really all that matters with this one is that we get the... I'm going to put the height to 8 and then the Y value to minus half of that. There we go. We've got a makeshift cannon. You can tinker around with yours for a bit, make it match the style you're going for. But for the sake of the video, I'm not going to get hung up, hung, hung up on graphics. I get hung up on speaking. So the turret's drawn, back to the stage, and then I'm going to, going to center it by putting it at 250, 250. And yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I do just want to apologize for the choppiness in some of the videos. I haven't quite mastered the uh, screen recording on this new computer yet. I might have to buy a new program or something, but as long as you can read the code, that's all we're after. So that aside, we're now going to make the, the class file, the action script file for our turret. Now I've, I've taken you through making an action script file, so I'm just going to use the shortcut that CS5 offers me. I'm going to go to the properties of my turret and I'm going to click the pencil here. So hopefully we all understand what this actually represents here. We've been through what package is, all the import, the public class and the constructor. So we should be at a level where we can appreciate what's going on here. I'm just going to save it, make sure I save it in the right place and it's called turret, yep. Happy with that. At the moment I'm not going to give it any properties, it doesn't need any for now. All I'm interested in is making it face the mouse. So what I'm going to do, it's a bit tricky this because for the event I was going to use, which is a mouse move, that normally relies on your mouse touching the the symbol in question. Now our, mou our mouse isn't actually going to be touching our turret a lot of the time. So what we want to do really is um, add this mouse event to our main stage but for the sake of doing the work in the turret instead of using a mouse event we'll just do something every frame. So I'm going to add an event listener, I'll do the comment, add an event listener to update the turret every frame. So instead of when the mouse moves, we'll just do it every frame. It's a little bit choppier than using the mouse event, but it'll serve the purpose. And because we're, we're going to use an event here, we need to import it. So I'm going to import flash dot flash, flash dot events dot event. And we need to do the code for the event listener. So we add event listener. This is all going on in the constructor for our turret. Event 
dot enter frame and we'll call it update because we're going to try to be consistent. Okay. Now all that's left to do is actually make this this um, update function. So so we'll um, type function. If I could remember how to type function update. It's responding to an event, and we've got the curly brackets. So in here now we need to make the turret face the mouse. So we'll comment that. Make the turret face the mouse. And to do that, really, we're going to, we're going to need two things. We need to know where the turret is. And we need to know where the mouse is. And from there, the logic is basically the same as making the ship face its target. So I'm just going to quickly jump into our ship class. I'm going to copy the logic here that points the ship at its target. And I'm going to paste that straight in. Now, what we're eventually going to do, because we're reusing a lot of code here, we could have it in one central location. And in a future tutorial, we'll mash code like this into its own little class, its own function, and we can just reuse it over and over again instead of having to dig things out, copy and paste, which is very inefficient. We're going to have it all in one central location, but for now, we're not quite at that level, so we're going to copy and paste for now, and we'll come back and neaten it up later. We just need to change the logic a bit here because this is working from the ship, whereas we want to work from the turret. So the, the difference in X and the difference in Y this time are going to be where the mouse is compared to where the turret is. So this the X and the Y are okay because they relate to the turret's X and Y. But this target X no longer exists. What we're after is the mouse position on the main stage. We have a slight problem because we're working inside the turret. We're not working on the main stage here. So we need to somehow access this main stage from inside our turret. And we've been through the process of adding children and so on. And because this turret is a child of the stage, the, the stage is the, the turret's parent. And we can actually access that because parent is saved as a property of the class. So that's quite long-winded. But we can access the turret's parent by typing the word parent, which goes blue. And this time we're not interested in the X of the parent. We want to know where the mouse is on that particular display object. So we're going to type mouse x with a large x. And the same for the y, we're going to have parent dot mouse y. And hopefully that will resolve our issue. What the the error we might get is if our turret hasn't been added to the stage or added to a display object, this parent wouldn't exist, so we'd get errors. So what we can do just to safeguard against that for now We'll have an if. We'll put if parent doesn't equal null. And null basically means nothing. So we're just asking if the parent exists so that we don't um, cause errors. So hopefully that'll safeguard against any potential errors. Let's just um, give that a go. So if we make sure it's saved and compile it all. And we can see now when we move the mouse, our turret is pointing to look at it, which seems to be working about right. Yep. If we go close, we can make it go a bit crazy. The ships are getting a bit annoying, so I might disable them or just drop the count. I'm going to jump into the game AS file and just lower that so we only have two ships. Save that, try it again. Oh, sorry, we'll just get one ship because the turret counts as a, a child. So see there how we've got num children less than two? We now have two children because we've got the turret and the ship. And we could hopefully shoot at that ship. We can't yet because we haven't done that. But for, for the most part, that's working fairly well, I'd say. Just uh, take a moment to wrap your head around what's going on. So we're saying there, if... If this turret has a parent, calculate the difference in the mouse position and this x, uh, this position, sorry. Sort the angle, calculate the angle from the difference, and then apply that angle as the rotation for this turret. 
So it's working quite well, I'd say. What we could also do now is set it so that the turret can actually fire when we click. And the problem we're going to have now is because, again, with mouse events, they need to work by being over the specific object. And for the most part, we're not going to have our mouse touching the turret when we click. So I've got a little issue there with, with clicking somewhere. Now to resolve it, we could add this mouse event to the stage. But in our constructor, that stage doesn't exist. I'm hoping that makes sense. So what we can do is set up an event that listens out for when our turret has been added to the stage. It's a new type of event. It's still under the event class, but it's, it's not an enter frame. So I'm going to set it up here. Set up an event listener for when the turret is added to the stage. So that guarantees that there is a stage to work with. And the code for it is add event listener event dot and this time it's one of these near the top it's added to stage and we'll call that um, put initialize so we need a function now called initialize we'll have function initialize which is responding to an event might have to have a little trial and error here just to make sure it works but hopefully when we're added to the stage we have access to the stage so I'm going to just assume that for now let's add an event I don't know why I went with a BE um, add an event listener to the stage um, instead of an event listener we'll do a click listener add a click listener to the stage so add event listener mouse event dot click and we'll call it fire so we now need a function called fire we're getting way into our functions here and what we're going to need soon is a a tutorial a bit more specific to custom functions because so far we've, we've only made functions out of necessity so we've got a constructor we've got functions that respond to events but we haven't got any any custom functions that do something specific for us which we'll get around to. Just saving this as I go. So I need the function fire and that's working with a mouse event. So m colon mouse event. And we're going to need to import the mouse event class actually. So um, let's do that now. Oh, I've already done it. <laughs> Never mind. Sounded a bit drunk then. I'm not. So in the fire function we um, need to make the gun do something. At the moment we don't have a bullet class. So just to check it's working, whoa, mouse all over the place. Just to check it's working, we'll trace the word fire or fired. Get um, Alan Sugar in to do the voiceover. I'm just gonna save that and hopefully it'll work. So our uh, Turret turns to face the mouse, and when we click, we get nothing. And that's because I didn't add the event listener to the stage after all that hassle. So I need the word stage in front of that. Stage goes blue because it's keyword. The stage is this main video, so on your timeline, on your main workspace, that's your stage. And I'm going to assume that we've got access to it now. Hopefully now when we click, we get fired. There we go, it's working. So from within this turret, we've added an event listener to our stage. Now it might not always be best practice to do that because you um, might forget to remove them or they might have access to something that you don't want to tamper with. But for the sake of this, it's fairly useful. So we'll, we'll stick to it for now. We might come back and update it later on. Okay. And finally, just before the end of this video, let's add some kind of graphical representation to the turret. So in the in the main game, the, the one that I showed you as a demo, the turret actually 
jerks a bit when it fires. So I'm going to go back to the turret graphic, double click to edit it, I'm going to zoom in a bit, and we'll just give some kind of graphical feedback for firing. I'm just going to edit this a little bit, I don't like him. Actually, no, it's not a graphics tutorial, <laughs> I'm just going to leave him as he is and deal with it. So this top layer, I'm going to convert to a classic tween. And I'm also going to have a layer at the top for script. So I'm scripting into the timeline now inside this turret because I want it to stop on its first frame. So I'm just going to go to the actions, type the word stop, bracket, bracket, done that millions of times in the other tutorial series. Close that so that the turret stops on this frame. Now when we fire, this is going to animate. The, uh, the turret itself is going to jerk back a few pixels. So I'll click on it and just tap to the left a few times, drag to the left, so it jerks back. And we've noticed our base has disappeared, it just needs a standard frame, so I'll just insert a frame so it exists. And now when we play that, if I hit enter, so it's got some movement to it, just to simulate a firing effect. Back to the turret file, when we click, so in this fired function, as well as saying fired, we want to um, play, because we're a movie click, we can play. So I'm going to save that, test it, and click, and you can see every time I click the turret jerks a little bit, so that, that's kind of a, a nice representation I think, we'll stick with that one. And we'll call that a day for this video, um, just make sure everything went in there, there's quite a lot going on, so we've made use of the stage, we've uh, pilfered some code from a different class and adapted it to our needs, we've angled the turret to look at the mouse, which we'd never done before. And we've used this new event, this added to stage, which does have its uses. You, you might not use it as much as an enter frame or a mouse event, but it's, it's good for checking that things are actually visible. Okay, I'll see you shortly in the next video.